Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. I am here at the sealed tunnel. I actually started recording, but I didn't unmute my microphone. All I did was go from around here, just above the Blackguard, over to the sealed tunnel. We're looking for the Dung Eater. He is somewhere in the moat. The Blackguard, aka Prawn Guy, aka Crab Man from My Name is Earl, said that he's around here somewhere lurking. So we're gonna check this part of the moat because we know this part's too deep. If he's not here, maybe we'll go back and we'll check the ridge along this deeper section. Um, but that's what we are doing right now here. My stats level 131. Pause it if you want to know any more. But yeah, that's the plan. We're looking for him. I'm going the wrong way. And then hopefully once we've found him, we will be trying to figure out what the deal is with that door. That frenzy flame door that I cannot seem to do anything with. Okay, so we've got some land squirts here. Ignoring them, I'm looking for anything, whether it's a message, a summon sign, whether it is gold or red, I'm looking for corpses that have clearly been defiled. I'm looking for an invasion, which luckily if there's an invasion, I I will be notified because I will just get kicked off of Torrent. But Blackguard, yeah, he's not doesn't seem to be here. He doesn't have any more info other than he's lurking around here somewhere. My goodness, that's quite the jump. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're just going to ride on past this. We're gonna just hug the moat up top. And we'll see if he's there. And he's a bit of a coward, if you ask me. He said to meet him by the moat, and I can't find him. He should make himself very visible, very apparent. Maybe he's that troll right there. Oh, wait a minute. What are you carrying, my friend? What did you just drop? A golden rune 12. Neat. All right. I mean, I am right, right? Like down here, there is that. Oh, it's just a golden tree. Seeing that actually looked like an ever gel. Yeah, there's, there's no way of getting in there. And there's definitely just nothing but a kill plane. I missed him last time. But, you know, stranger things have happened. If I was missing an item, and I'm going, I'm switching gears now, I'm thinking about the the door. Uh, what I what I assume to be a door. Did I read this? Let's read this just in case. I can't remember if I did or not. Second defense of Landell. The fell omen stacks high the corpses of heroes, yet the earth tree remains unshaken. Fell Omen stacks high. Okay, so the, the Fell Omen, which would be... This would be Moog. This would be Morgot. They were the ones who were, were stacking the corpses of heroes. Yet Morgot was the king of Landell, right? All right, we got some wolves. That means nothing to me. Now we're back to the ramp. Well, he's got to be down in it then. He, he has to be. Is the black guard... Is he the dung eater? Is he... Am I supposed to just attack black guard? I don't... You know, the fact that there's a stake of America down here tells me something, something's supposed to happen. I'll just deal with you. I mean, I can't, I can't 
can't kill him. <laughs> oh. Serves me right. Fucking bloody end. For a jumped up little shit with big ideas. Uh oh. Help me out. Would you, mate? I don't want to get cursed. <laughs> Just let me die. I don't want to live like this. Not anymore. So, please. Ah, oh, no. <sighs> Seedbed curse. That's my third. Blackguard's bell bearing. Uh oh. Iron ball and Blackguard's iron mask. You, sir are just not very nice. I will kill you. You can no defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Yes! Whoa, okay. Wait, you are using the Regal Baron. I wonder. I'm gonna try cast. Oh, I can't cast that. Right. Do that over and over, huh? Ow! Oh, you don't care. And that's completely fair and understandable. Alright. You're done. Oh, poor Blackguard. Good Dung Eaters died. Got the Sword of Milos? All right, well, I guess we got a few different things to take a look at here. Ah, stupid dragonflies. All right, let's, uh, let's take a quick pause on this, so hopefully we can just kill the dragonfly. Where are you? Well, never mind. So we have, first off, the iron ball, which is pretty cool. It's just a... Oh, he's back. These things are the worst, and I don't have any Gravitas. You know what? <laughs> One of them's got to get him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Overkill. I know. Anyway. Iron Menifer of spherical shape. Big Boggart, the Black Arts weapon of choice. His name was Big Boggart. Aw. Not a weapon to be taken lightly, as its weighty blow shatters bones with ease. Braggart's Roar, declare your presence with a boastful roar. Raids attack power, defense, and stamina recovery speed. Holy cow. And it's actually pretty light. That's not a bad item to have in your offhand, really. Now we have the Sword of Milos. I'm assuming that's the name of the Dung Eater. Sinister great sword fashioned from a giant's backbone. The spines along each side of the blade have been tapered to a fine point and meet out wounds like a lopsided saw blade. Milos was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terribly grotesque. Or maybe the giant from which this comes from, maybe his name was Milos. The Shriek of Milos let out a horrific curse scream that reduces all damage negation and status resistances for nearby foes while active strong attacks will change to a combo. All right, now we also got the Blackguard's gear, which is right here, the Blackguard Iron Mask, Big Bogger, yep. To Boggart, the mask made him all the more threatening and helped him get what he wanted, but it was also a mirror of his emptiness. Oh, why do you need to make him sad when he's already dead? And... Did I get pants? Was it just the mask? I guess it was just the mask. And we got the, the bell bearing, which I can assume is going to give me both pawns and crab. Okay. So I have three seedbed curses, right? I have three, but it doesn't say anything about what I can possibly do with them. I mean, they're they're very related to Omen. Well, do I think there's something back at the round table hold? I mean, his body's gone. Do I have to go back to his cell? Has anything changed? Oh. Intriguing. He's back. 
There you are. You warded off my blessing, despite the curse stirring within you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. Nope. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse again and again until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces and may one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed and countless I have defiled and soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed and they'll bear thousands of cursed children who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me and they'll kill and defile and bless in my stead the rotten fools. My fate was the grandest, most brilliant of them all. My corporeal flesh lies in the sewer jail beneath the capital. Give it your blessing. Defile till a curse ring. So he's still in the jail, despite me having unlocked it. And he wants me to go kill him and defile his corpse. Oh, what is this game? Um, <laughs> All right. But what about that flame? Who knows about the flame? Gideon? No. You don't. I'm trying. What do I have in my inventory that might help me out? Um, what about. What about. No. Although the fingerprint. Eyeball of the Night Viking flamed yellow. Source of the distant light allowing. I mean, inflamed, it's yellow. Does that mean anything? Is that part of the the quest? Do I have to find the blind maiden again? I don't know where she might be. Well, I took you for dead. No matter, lay out your ass. You have nothing new. Although, but I can, I can do some upgrading. I could. I'm gonna. Not going to do that one. Not going to do Lusats yet. I will do my bow. I will do that up to plus nine. Do you have anything new to say? Greetings, are you here for spirit? Oh. Oh no. Be on your guard, I beg you. He's back. The Dung Eater. Again. I can hear them. The spirits as they howl and lament in fear of the curse. And worse than ever, the reverberations of the twisted malice in itself. But after all this time, I've started to grasp it now. I can hear, in the malison, another fearsome order. All right, there's one more thing before we go and try and hunt down his body. Speaking of Hayeta, who may have something to do with Frenzy based on the eye that I got from Vike, because Vike was using Frenzy incantations. Someone had mentioned that I should be able to find Hayeta near, I think the Purified Ruins. I, I wanna say that's what it was. So let's go to Lyernia Highway North. Let's go south, let's see if she's there. Maybe this has something to do with it, maybe not. Maybe it's just another quest that I can hopefully still work on now anyway. But let's see if that is the case. Because I still have, I have two Shabriri grapes. And I have the one grape from Vike. Let's see. Okay, we have the goat. He's the one who actually told me about the the one who wanted grapes, right? At this ghost? I always forget you can jump and cast that, and I love that. All right. Come out one and all from the darkness underground and let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. Yeah. Is she... Is she in these ruins? 
I mean, it could be that I've missed her. So not everything's dead, but I'm just looking to see if Hayat is around. Although I do believe that this is considered the same ruins, right? She may be in the underground portion. I don't... Oh, 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 oh. I think I just saw her. <gasps> yes, okay. Hello? Would you donate any Shabiri grapes? I'm on a pilgrimage, and when I eat one of those grapes... You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Okay. Doesn't doesn't really say what you're gonna do now, so if I go back here, I assume you move on. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I actually Pulled up the comment that it said that they were at the pure, she was at the purified ruins, and I was never going to figure this out, and we we're going to miss out on it. And I do think that it is now connected. Uh, I believe she is now moved to. Let's see, was it the Gate Town Bridge? There's Gate Town North. Um, hmm. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, so she's kind of traveling northward, northern, in a northerly direction, right? Take a look around here. Because we first met her on the cliffs. She was... At the lake facing cliffs. That's where we found her. Then she went to the purified ruins. Now she's supposedly around here. So I do need to just take a quick look and see. Is she down below? So I'm not gonna pretend like this is this is blind. So please understand if you're if you're expecting me to figure this out on my own, I am not. This is this is not me at all. This is me, that's just an enemy, going by a comment that was left. A few people told me about purified runes, but someone kind of walked me through all the different locations that she should be at. Oh, and there she is. I see her. So I think I've gotten all the items I need. Hello? Would you donate them on a pilgrim when I eat? Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside... I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. Oh boy. Uh. Yeah, I hate to break it to you. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I apologize. I'll be fine. All right. And then she continues to go north to the Bellum Church, which is way up, way up here. 
And this is where I believe I need the fingerprint grape from Vike when he invaded us, which I did get. Which I did get. Is she in the church? Is she just outside? Probably just outside so you'd encounter her as you're going in, right? Maybe she's down the path, like, towards the merchant. Maybe by the cliffs? No. Oh, hey. I... I never went down there. Oh. That's over by that one Everjail I did, and I didn't... Actually, you can go and kill that one invisible thing. That one invisible scarab. Uh, hmm. Not seeing her. Quite possibly she is on the outside, just on the eastern side. I almost said that was her. Nope, that's, that's a sheep. showing up here. She's not still at the at the gate. She is still there. Why is she still there? Light Seeker Hyetta. Now why isn't she traveled there? Nope, she's still here. I've exhausted her dialogue. Uh, I've gleaned something very oh. important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something very certain now. Okay. So now, <laughs> now if I go to the Bellum Church, again, just for full transparency, this is not blind. I am essentially following a commenter who is walking me through this process, and I, they didn't say that has to do with the flames, but I think it very much does. Oh, hello. Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be a finger. Okay. Now, if I'm right, this part wasn't in the comment, if I'm right, I think she's going to be waiting for me outside that door. That's what I think. So I go to the Frenzy Flame proscription. Now that I've given her an eye that was clearly infected with Frenzy because of Ike, I think this is her next step. There she is. Yes. Huh. So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden and you... Surely, a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. 
Go to the door ahead. It will show you. Do I have to actually remove all of my equipment? Do I? Oh my gosh, you do. Okay. Um, can I put clothes back on? Boy, I wish there was just a, you know, a quick <laughs> re-equip option. Uh, what was I, what was I wearing? Did I even need to take all this off or was it just my equipment that I had to take off? Okay, I was wearing that. I was wearing, I think, the page set. Which is where? Where's the page? Is this sorted by? Is this sorted by? Wait, no. Um, I don't know where it is. Oh man, where'd it go? Of course, I'm not going in any... Can I sort by... No, I can't sort by alphabetical. I don't think it was this heavy. Alright, let's go to the beginning. Sorry, I know this is probably not at all what you wanted to want. Oh, there we go. Page. And then I was wearing Albrecht's bracers, and I think his... Maybe I was wearing the page. Anyway, we'll do that for now anyway. Let's do sats. <laughs> And then the Glintstone Chris and the Hornbow. So, do you have? I wonder. I wonder if you don't even have to take all that off. And I did that, and I just looked ridiculous in that cutscene for no reason. Uh, something has happened, by the way. I mean, I, I'm now permanently scarred. I have glowing eyes, and I want the. There we go. Okay, um, I have a feeling Melina is going to be really unhappy with me. Yeah. Is Hyetta still here? Can I talk to her? Am I a lord now? Is she a finger maiden? Oh, she's... Oh, she's still here. <sighs> the flame of chaos has nestled within you. Could you please rest your hand upon me? Burn me with the flame to make me your maiden. Could you please rest your in me with the f Do I- Wait. Oh, there we go. I had to move. Oh, it burns. My eyes. My eyes. They're melting. I 
really need to stop doing as people ask. Thank you. Thank you. I have touched them. The words of the three fingers. As your maiden, allow me to divine them. All that there is came from the one great. Then came fractures, and births, and souls. But the greater will made a mistake. Torment, despair, affliction, every sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the yellow chaos flame until all is one again. I think I've made a huge mistake. <laughs>